Hello and welcome to Import.io. Today, we'll be going over change reports and how they benefit you. Change reports allow you to capture the differences between crawl runs, such as ratings, prices, or product offerings. A change report will run every time the extractor runs if it is set to run. Before creating a change report, you need to have an extractor built with the data points you want to monitor. Once that is built, you will go to the report section in Import.io. We'll start by building a new report, so we'll click on New Report. Once we click New Report, we'll have a few options we need to choose to finish creating the report. First, you'll need to choose a report type, either a data report or a change report. A data report allows you to select which columns from an extractor's crawl runs to include in a data report and add some basic styling. Data reports generated can be shared to your import.io portal, which allows other stakeholders to view them without having access to your account. In this example, we'll choose a change report. Next, we'll also add an extractor, which we want to monitor the changes of. Lastly, we can add a custom name to the report if needed. Once done, click Next. In the next section, you can choose which data points you want to monitor. Select the points you want to monitor, then click the arrow to move the points to the right box. After those data points are selected, you'll see a drop-down labeled Primary Column. Your primary column is the main data point that is monitored for changes. Once Import.io recognizes a change in the product has occurred in the primary column, it will also capture the other data points you requested to monitor as well. Once you're finished, click Create Report. Now that the report is completed, we can look in the settings to see how we can manipulate the report. In the settings, the first option you have is for email notifications. You have the option to get email notifications after every run or when items are added, changed, or removed. You can also change what your primary column you want monitored is, add additional monitored columns, or add additional columns to show in the output. If you make any changes in the settings, make sure you save before leaving the page. When we look at the Run History section, you'll see the previous runs from your extractor, as well as what has been added, changed, and removed. In each run, you have the option to download the files in CSV or Excel format, as well as the option to post the data to your portal. This was a tutorial on how to create a change report and how it can benefit you. Thanks for watching.